Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, I want to create a program that will tell me if an array is sorted in ascending order or not. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to write a description for our program to tell, you know, whoever is writing in the code or if, or maybe I want to look at this code later, uh, what this program actually does. So this program uh, tells if an array is sorted in ascending order or not. And let's give an, a few examples. So let's say example uh, one. Uh, let's say we have an array and it's equal to one, two, three, four. Then I want my program to output. Maybe we'll go here, output. Um, the array is sorted in ascending order. All right, and then let's give another example. So example two, maybe we have an array that's sorted. So something like four, three, two, one, but it's not in ascending order. And the output would say that the array is not in ascending order. All right, let's give one more example. Example number three. The array equals um, maybe one, five, two. And of course, the output would be the same as our previous example. Example number two, and it'll say the array is not in ascending order. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to first include my library, stdio.h. Then we're going to create the main function. And we're going to return zero. All right. And I'm going to create a function to determine this. So we'll say we're going to create a function. It's going to return um, 1 if the array is in ascending order and return 0 otherwise. So if it's not in, if the array is not in ascending order. And so I need to return an integer value. So it's going to be a 0 or 1. I'm going to call it the function is sorted. And is sorted, it's going to take in the size of the array. So I'm going to call it array size. And we need the actual array, it's the actual array itself. So I'm going to just call it array. All right. Now let me copy this here and we can actually start coding it. Now I think I want to, um, I want to use recursion for this. So I'm going to need a base case and I'm going to need a recursive case. All right, and of course we need to return a value. So I would say the base case is is if the array um, is empty, so it has a size of zero, then you know it's already sorted. There's nothing to sort, therefore it's already sorted. So if the array has size zero, then or maybe we say size equal to zero then the array is already sorted. Um, another base case may be that if we have an array of size one, it's also already sorted because there's nothing to sort because it's only one element. So it's already sorted. So maybe I put if the array has size equal to zero or one, then the array is already sorted. So I'm going to create this base case. I'm going to say if the array size, which would be the size of the array, is less than or equal to 1, then we can say that it's sorted. Alrighty. And this actually will handle negative values as well. Um, let's go to see. I think that's all we need for our base case. 
Let's go to our recursive case. Let me back this up. Okay. So now for our recursive case, how do we tell if we have now more than one element in the array? So let's say we have two elements. How do, can I tell if those two elements are sorted or not? Well, we probably would start from the uh, last element and check to see if it's greater than or equal to the previous element. So for example, in our array here, we have four elements. So I need to check to see, okay, I have the number four at the end of the array. I need to check to see if four is greater than or equal to the previous element, which would be three. And it is, so that'd be good. Um, then I need to check to see if three is greater than its previous element, which is two, and three is greater than two. And then I need to check to see if two is greater than one, and two is greater than one. And now I have a, um, um, now I'm at the beginning of the list, so I know that I'm done. So I will do the same thing here. Let's see. Uh, this will check check if the uh, the last element in the array is greater than the previous element. So right now we have array and we want the position, the last position, which in this case uh, for our array of size four is at position three, since we start the index from zero. So we get zero, one, two, and then three. So I want the array size minus um, one. So I want to see if that element is greater than or equal to the previous element. So that's the array at position array size minus two. All right, and that should handle that. And what do we want to do in this case? So now we've take we've checked two elements. We checked uh, this element here and this element here for our example. So now I want to go back into my function and I want to check from the number three to the number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to return our function. Alrighty, there. And I'm going to put in the array size, but our array size is going to decrease now because I want this three to be the last element. So I'm going to say the array size is uh, array size minus one. So now our three is the last element and we still need the array to look at. And so now it's going to go back into this function. It's going to say, okay, now I have an array of size three and the last element is three. And we're going to check that with the element two. And then of course it's going to go back again and it's going to say that the uh, the array is only a size 2 and it's going to check to see if 2 is greater than 1, which it is. And it's going to uh, go back again and it's going to say that we only have an array of size 1 and of course that would hit our base case and it will return 1. Okay, else if um, this, is, this statement isn't true, if the element that we're currently looking at is not greater than or equal to the element previous or next to it, then we need to return zero because the array must not be sorted. And I don't even need this else statement actually, because if it never goes to this if statement, it will automatically go to this return here. And that should do it for our function. So let's give it a try. First, we're going to create our array. I'm going to call it R in our main function. And let's see, we're going to use the same example here. So one, two, three, four. And then let's give uh, the size. So this is an array of size four. And maybe I create a variable and call it sorted. And we'll set that equal to uh, our function here. And again, that's just going to return a value that's either zero or one to tell us if the array is sorted. And I need to change the parameters. so. For our array, it's just going to be R. 
for our array size is just going to be size. OK, and then let's do a print statement to check. So value equals percent D. And maybe I do a new line. Why not? And then put in sorted variable. So let's give this a run. Alrighty, save this as a .c file, and I'm going to call this is sorted. Oh, okay, that actually worked on one try, no errors. So let's go ahead and maximize the screen a little bit. We can see value equals 1 here. So value equals 1, and that's exactly what we wanted since this is an array that is already sorted in ascending order. So let's try to switch it up a little bit. Let's make this 3 a 5. So now it's no longer sorted in any order. So let's go ahead and compile that. Compile and run it. OK, now we get the value equals 0, which is just what we wanted because it's telling us that it's not sorted. And let's try it in um, descending order. So maybe 4, uh, 3, Two and let's do zero. All right, let's run it. Ah, and now it says, oops, it says value equals zero. So that is exactly what we wanted. And um, of course, because value equals zero tells us that it is not in ascending order. Now it is still in a order, it's in, I'm sorry, not in ascending order, it is in descending order. So uh, that's why we got that value zero there. So it looked like it's working properly. Now I want this print statement here to tell us if it is or is not in ascending order. So that's gonna be really simple. And I just need a few if statements here. So if sorted equals one, then it's obviously um, sorted else we we'll do something there so let's do a print statement so printf and we're going to print out the array is sorted in ascending order and else we're going to print out the array is not the, the array is not sorted in ascending order. All right, let's run this. OK, I still have that print statement there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that here. Just go ahead and clear it. And let's run this again. OK, the array is not sorted in ascending order. Perfect. So the array is not sorted in ascending order. So let's try to sort it and ascending order. So one, four, nine. And this is a size three. Run it. The array is sorted in ascending order. Perfect. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave any questions, any likes, uh, comments, all of that's appreciated. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks as always for watching.